Uh, here is a quick overview of today's uh, presentation. Uh, when we do nonlinear analysis, uh, the first, probably most important thing is the strategy, how to solve the problem. Uh, if uh, we think about the linear analysis, we know that, you know, let's just by shot, uh, you solve the linear equation. And uh, no matter, normally, no matter what you do, you will get a solution. Of course, you, the solution may be not a uh, good solution, may have some problem, but uh, you don't have any numerical problem normally uh, if you set the problem uh, properly. Uh, that's easy, and there's no any strategy involved uh, with respect to uh, not only the procedure, how to solve the equation. But the uh, nonlinear analysis is totally different uh, because you know, the equation we got is a nonlinear, and uh, you cannot really solve the problem with just one shot. You know, you have to use so-called uh, iteration method, and then you have to check if the solution is converge or not. So it is much more complicated. Uh, in my view, the strategy to solve the equation, and nonlinear equation is probably the most important thing in nonlinear analysis. Uh, of course, uh, when we talk about uh, nonlinear, you, you may think about the uh, material nonlinear, geometric nonlinear, and uh, contact is also nonlinear. There are different uh, nonlinear problems, but at the end, the equation is similar. It's basically end with a nonlinear equation, and we have to somehow linearize it, and the solved iteration, uh, and and uh, you know you have to you have to determine when and how to update uh, different metrics and how to judge if the solution converges or not. So those are strategies. How do you how do you do this? What's the best way to do that? Uh, there are of course different different methods and the different way to do that. But uh, yeah, sometimes you you may find the solution doesn't converge, and sometimes you may find you know or things uh, you know they take much much longer time. You know, it's uh, it's all depends on the strategy. Of course, here we talk about you know if you set up a model, everything seems okay. You know, a foundation material, everything's okay. Then yeah, this becomes probably the most important thing. So that's why uh, today we are going to talk about this uh, uh, topic. Uh, as you may know, uh, MSC Nature originally is a linear solver, and then, of course, it extend to nonlinear, uh, start with 106, uh, 129 solution, 106, uh, and uh, because of this uh, history, uh, in Nature, there are quite a few uh, uh, time or load step control options available. So today we we'll just very quickly review those options, and uh, then we yeah, can talk about the new one. Uh, it's called NL step, and uh, if I compare the new one and the old ones, uh, we can know why we need to introduce this new uh, option. And in 2000, 2012 release in NL step. This new uh, option, uh, there's a new uh, keyword, as, as uh, C T R S D E F. Uh, this one uh, built some smart default, and uh, it seems working very well. Uh, this is use friendly, uh, basically uh, based on the user's ex user's judgment of your model. Uh, say, you know, if the model is is not really highly nonlinear. You can select some parameter so that the default set will basically optimize the uh, uh, solution, uh, meaning you know, it be if they learn fast and get uh, accurate result. So this makes things much easier. So that's why uh, yeah, we are going to spend some time to talk about this new keyword. Then at the end, yeah, I'm talk I will yeah give some uh, general recommendations. Uh, what's the best way to set up this uh, nonlinear uh, procedure? <laughs> uh, yeah, very last is a, a simple uh, model. I just want to 
want to show you uh, how to set up a model in uh, Patreon and uh, and some comparison uh, and how to modify input act to use those new uh, these new keywords because it is not supported in Patreon yet uh, and uh, yeah this will be a complete uh, presentation.